Well, we're in the beautiful village of Finningham in Suffolk. This is the delightful looking church of St. Bartholomew. Surrounded by trees and um, a mistletoe. Let's go in and have a look. Lovely little iron gate here. Lovely, lovely churchyard. It's a nice path going up around the front of the tower. Look at all that mistletoe there. This is a sweet little Suffolk village church. looks like the um, original building which is obviously what we see here and then there's an extension at the back and obviously this porch extension so you can see what the original church was like the churchyard is very neatly kept a lot of the headstones, the old ones, have been removed by the look of it and probably repositioned around the sides or whatever. Makes it much easier to maintain. Now we've got here... In loving memory of Joseph Driver, who died July the 14th, 1884, aged 66 years. I think we'll have a look around the, uh, the other side here now. So here we are at the bottom of the tower and a very old entrance there. And it's certainly an old door. I don't know how old that door would be, but it's, it's in terms of hundreds of years old, I guess. The tower which has been repointed. No actual windows in it. the belfry up above, some rendering up there, light on the corner, this side of the churchyard looks fairly grand because it's all regularly cut, it's quite a nice lawn actually, bit of a memorial there, we'll have a look, and here's the war memorial or a memorial to the dead of the war for the first world war here and then here we've got of course those who fell in the second world war there were two people here from this village. There's a rather grand porch which was added on at a later date on the original old building and uh, the extension which was added on at the back. Nice shot there of the tower, and you can see the top half where it's been rendered. The ramparts are still flint. So here under the trees, and beautiful looking uh, situation with the light coming down through the trees. We've got some older headstones. So this part of the churchyard is a little bit more picturesque. 
but sadly and yet again this is the third church that we've been to in two days that we found to be locked and all in the same area so yet another church that we uh, will not be able to go into so we'll have a look through the window see what we can see through this window well here in front of the uh, entrance to the church here we've got a, a family uh, tomb or internment area I guess quite well kept actually considering and good view actually of this um, porch which is really ornate it's funny these little village churches went to town on these um, porches they put on all these little alcoves would have had statues I guess in them at one time this is a really ornate and beautiful um, doors pair of doors here gates it's a shame look at this but that's lovely it's been some repair work I think over the years because obviously this is all these bit here is new where is that it's much older there that's all been added in at some time As we're walking down this part of the church, we um, came across this tomb. Here under lies the body of John Free, son of John Freer, late of Wickham Abbey in the county of Suffolk. He deceased December the 15th, 1633. So that's a tomb from 1633. That's quite old. And in the window, look, we've got lamps. It looks lovely. Let's have a look. It's a really, really lovely looking church inside. And just such a shame. Right, we'll get down to the uh, end of the church. This is the, actually the extension that was added on at some point. Flint works quite nice here, it's very different. Got a wonky <laughs> downpipe and a little a little door. It'll be obviously locked. Have a look and see what we can see here. This should be where the altar is. So this is the um, the area, the churchyard, just behind the um, end of the church where the altar is, and there's quite a few old graves here, and it's a lovely setting actually. It's like a footpath that's coming up into the churchyard, and then we get a lovely, um, lovely view on this glorious August day of the church. And if we come round here a little bit further and just stand underneath this tree, in the shade of this tree actually, and just see how lovely this churchyard is. Beautiful setting here again with the light coming through the trees, reflecting on all the old headstones. I guess that a lot of these have just been repositioned here. They tend to, I think, clear a lot out of the main churchyard so it's easier to keep the grass cut. This is just beautiful here. Very picturesque. The 
there's a nice view of the church here and there again we're standing under another tree and lots of older headstones here and plots this is an old plot actually it's nice to see this because a lot of the ones which are surrounded by ironwork are just full of weeds it's so difficult to keep them free of weeds but this one is very nice there's more here look behind us well I was going to have a look through the windows on this side of the church but they look as if they're mainly stained glass no, this one isn't. We'll have a look through here, see, see what we see from this side. Now oh, they're lovely, those lamps that they've got each side, that's unusual. You don't often see that. It's very light and airy church because all the... Uh, main windows are plain glass view here all these lovely churches that are locked now and it's just so sad we can't go inside and make a proper filmed record of them the last window I can have a look in Let's see, this is, oh, we can see here the um, big screen that's at the bottom of the tower. And the font over there. Let's have a look, see if we can see in the other window. Better view of that. Well, I think that's the best we can do here, as far as the interior is concerned. The outside of the church is very nice. It's mainly sort of lawn, really, with the church surrounded by a wall of trees and shrubs. Really beautiful, very peaceful. Bartholomew's in the village of Finningham. Lovely little church in an absolutely glorious setting again. Very peaceful. But sadly again, another church that is locked. Locked and we're not allowed to go in.